you're not challenging yourself, right? So they talk about it in practice, challenge yourself in practice. And with that, you're going to be able to like implement and come up and create a routine that works for you, that gets you ready to play from pitch number one. That's big. That's big. They're, they hit on it, dude. So it's not like I'm just making it up. Um, yeah, Cliff Godwin, don't come to ECU if you're not willing to work, dude. So think about that. Think about that. So you're coming in from high school, um, and you're thinking you're just you're just going to be a freshman starter, um, and and you're work you're used to working hard, but you're you're really not you know you're talented and stuff, dude. Right? Any trials and tribulations that you got before when you get here, you better be ready to work, and you better be able to like handle failure. Um, that's a you know the, just listening to that dude talk. I mean that was a that's a dude that I'm like man, I would have loved to have played for that guy, right? So that kind of that kind of sums up. These are like the top four takeaways, kind of one, two, three, four. Yeah, that I took away from these guys. It's like, man, they all work. The difference between work ethic, between, you know, these top programs and maybe something else. Dude, I'm remembering back to when I was in college and like, dude, I worked hard, right? But, you know, there weren't necessarily like structured practices and workouts too insane in place thinking back there was like, man, I, was I really challenged? Like, I don't know. Or did I get my work in on the side, you know, aside from everybody else, I was kind of like obsessed, right? A lot of, a lot of my challenging work came from on my own challenging myself, right? I was, that was the separator for me. I think that's obviously what, what helped me stand out. Um, but it sounds like the coaches at these big time schools are working the shit out of their guys. They are challenging them. Uh, they're not just doing like feel good practice, man. They're getting their asses kicked. Uh, what was it? The, the Stanford coach, dude, the Stanford coach, the head coach was saying like, they're, you know, they're failing 60% of the time, like 40 to 50% success rate in the cage, in the cage, in the cage before they go out to practice. So they're getting their asses kicked before they go out to practice. I mean, look at the seasons that they've had, right? That's a team. That's a team. So the, the, uh, the way they practice, they fail and they, and they challenge themselves in practice. That's a big one. Step your game up.